So here we are at the ferry station towards Georgetown. We took a bus this morning from Kuala Lumpur until Penang. And we didn't film that because we filmed so many buses already, but we thought that the ferry would be really cool and exciting. But first, let's get ourselves some tickets. Hi, is this where I get a ticket for the ferry? Yes, yes. Uh, to Georgetown. Yes. Uh, how much is it for per person? One ringgit and twenty cent. Um, can I get two tickets, please? That's only one ringgit and twenty cent. Not too bad, actually. No. Is it fine if I give change? I have plenty of change. <laughs> plenty change. Okay. Okay. I want this one. This one. Okay. Take. Take. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he needs change as well. <laughs> I hate the coins. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What time ferry leave? Five, five, five. five. Okay. okay. Thank you. It's quite a nice station, to be honest. I mean, this place looks new. It looks pretty good, yeah. Okay. I think he has your ticket. Thank you. There we go. Shoot. Fancy. Hello. I feel like there's a lot of people who maybe work in Penang and live in Georgetown or vice versa because there were quite a few motorcycles parked outside probably a normal way to commute to work. If you have seen our previous videos, we were actually in Malacca, which is a cultural hub here in uh, Malaysia, and apparently Georgetown is too. And a lot of people recommended coming to this place, so this is why we're heading here, in order to see a little bit of what Georgetown looks here. This is the northern part of Malaysia. Hopefully they have some different food, some different street art from what I see, and maybe a little bit of different culture for us to explore. But I guess we'll find that out, eh? Oh, is this our ferry? This is our ferry. Oh, awesome. Kenangan. Kenangan. Sorry if we're pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> That's a massive ferry. I don't know if they're going to take our bags anyway. Hi, how are you? Do you need to see my ticket? No. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Free seat. Free seat, eh? <laughs> How's it, guys? Hello, hello. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> Oh, this is a huge ferry. Hello, hello. Oh, do we just put the bags here? Just put our bags here. Okay. Is this the bar? <laughs> no, no. Can no. I get one beer, please? <laughs> 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 so this is kind of the seating positions. Next to the window. Are you sure? Yeah. Kind of looks nice. There is a little bit of some air con there. Whew. Okay. I think we are settled. Kind of. An aircon, yes. <laughs> you can see there's actually a lot of place to sit. But this is how small our window is. We're just getting a small glimpse. And then down there is Georgetown. Exciting. These bags are also becoming a problem. They get so heavy on our backs. <laughs> so if we're not struggling with the weight on our backs, we're struggling to actually pull our rolly bags around or we have to carry our rolly bags. I think we just need to get stronger. I don't think we win. We never win. We just need to get stronger and we'll be fine. We do. Start jumping, baby. <laughs> That's it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> nice. I think there we go. So I'm not actually sure how long this ferry takes, but it's currently 17.02. So we'll tell you at the end how quick or long this trip was. So there we are, we're currently like halfway and the time is 17.04, <laughs> so it's been two minutes, <laughs> super quick. The quickest ferry ride I have ever <laughs> taken in my life, generally they're like two hours long. <laughs> this one, quick. <laughs> and here we are, starting to slow down already, you can see we kind of at the port. And the time is 17.06. <laughs> so it took four minutes. Well, I guess we've made it to Georgetown. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but that was the shortest video we've ever made. So thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to like. And, and we'll, we'll see you in the next, next video. <laughs> <laughs> if only, <laughs> hey. <laughs> we actually have to catch a taxi now to our hotel. Yeah. All right, so we just booked the grab because they're just so much easier in Malaysia than struggling with taxis. But welcome to a little bit of Georgetown.
it's kind of what it looks like here from the docks. I'm excited to go and explore though over the next few days. Hi, Hello. you leave? Oh well, no problem. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. All right, so we have to wear a mask in public transport here in Malaysia. So that's what we do. There we go. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Malaysia no? government still consider me to wear the mask. No, that's yeah. fine. We no? understand. Uh, but inside the car only. Outside, no need. No need, oh, okay. eh? Outside, outside. All right. Thank you so much, Lee. Yeah, enjoy your holiday. You too, hey. Eh? Stay safe. <laughs> Quickly, look this side. Okay, come. Ooh. It looks like a nice hotel, or it looked like a nice hotel online. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of COVID. <laughs> Giving you post traumatic stress, right? <laughs> that is an actual painting, by the way. It's on pieces of wood. That's really cool. I think I need it into the car. Okay, it's a hotel, hotel. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's quite nice. Pretty spacious, right? Pretty spacious, yeah. Got a place to actually sit and work in what looks to be a very comfortable chair. Bed looks pretty decent. A little counter. Got a place to leave our bags and a little window. This is what we always look for when trying to look for accommodation. We always just look for a window because it just feels like you're at least living. <laughs> <laughs> Rooms that don't have windows kind of suck. And we're paying about $25 for this one per night, which is not too bad. Not too so bad. Yeah. One of the best places we could find online here. Yeah, definitely. We're going to relax now. We're going to order some food because it has been a long day. And then tomorrow we're going to go out and explore a little bit of Georgetown. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Thank you so much. Uh, there we go. Thank you. I have breakfast. And I have coffee. Oh, yes. <laughs> so this morning we have ordered Kaya toast. After being almost a month here in Malaysia, we have not tried the popular breakfast to have. That's here. And today we're going to be trying it. Probably what is known as... The best coffee in the world. The best coffee in the world. For some reason, these three in one sachets are the bomb. I mean, look at that. Let's try some kaya toast. With our kaya toast, we got some uh, sausage and hash browns and eggs. Just so that we full. Because <laughs> kaya toast, I think, is just a sandwich. To be honest. Ooh. Oh. What's oh, this? I also gave you eggs. Okay. I heard that kaya toast is traditionally eaten with eggs. So that's why I ordered this. But this is basically what kaya toast is. Yeah, it's basically two sandwiches just put together and inside is, is, like, jam. is like jam. I think sometimes they actually put cheese or butter. So I think this one we've actually just got some butter and some jam. Cheers. Malaysian. Breakfast. Oh, that's actually really nice. Mm. Mm. It's not over sweet. Mm -mm. It doesn't taste like a jam. Mm -mm. And the jam's got like a different texture to normal jam. It's not mm. like a jelly type. It's more of a. Mm. I don't know. Like a custardy type. It's unique on mm. its own. It's actually quite nice. Good for breakfast, to be honest. Mm. When in Malaysia, order kaya toast. <laughs> okay, let's go explore Georgetown. Uh, yeah, here he is. <laughs> We've ordered a grab. Hi, Sun. Okay. How are you? To Chow uh, Jetty, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sun. Okay, now we can get rid of the masks. <laughs> so right behind these shops is actually the clan jetties. But before we go and explore the clan jetties, we actually want to go and have a look here at some popular street art that's here in Penang, Georgetown. Yeah, you can see, yeah, some of the wall art. It's basically just painted on. But the wall art's also made to be interactive, so this is all part 
of the street art so people can actually sit here and take photos. Okay, I'll take a photo of you, baby. Stand there. Three, two, one. Nice. See, it's all interactive. You can engage with the art. Yeah, there's pedals hitting this concrete block, so I can't really do much. <laughs> when driving here, we actually saw quite a bit of some wall, like street art or already wall art on some of the buildings. So it's basically all over the town, but the area that we're in is where it's most popular. So we've been seeing people riding these things around, so I thought it was an amazing idea to get one of them. How much is it for one? One hour and 20 minutes. One hour and 20 minutes? Yes. One hour and two people can sit on this thing? Yes. Oh, awesome. Can we take one? One. Yes, please. I mean, look at this. You can literally have two people sitting on here. Can we take a which color one? Can we take black one? Or do you want a green one? No, I want this one. You want a black one? Yeah, We are really cool. so bad with black. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we have to fill out an indemnity form. Thank you. And I'll pay you when I come back? No, no. Now, no. Okay? <laughs> yeah. There's our little buck. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, baby, you got to take the bag. Okay. <laughs> I'll drive first and then you can drive second. Which one's acceleration? So it's accelerator. Accelerator. Bag. Indicator. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, First bump. Okay. All right. So this thing actually tells us how much power we have and how fast we're going. Oh goodness, are you ready? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the seat's so low down. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to see over you. <laughs> You're going to have to hold the camera. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, just drive carefully, please. Oh well. Are you ready? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness, and this is go. supposed to be a, a bicycle? I don't know what it is. It feels more of like a little scooter or motorbike. Yeah. Oh. I just expect a little bit of some... <laughs> oh, there we are already seeing some street art. Oh wow, look at that. It's like all made out of wire, which is really, really cool. And here's a, a tri-shore over here. Oh, brakes, oh. brakes, brakes. Check, there's a cat. Check the cat there. There's a cat over there made out of like, I don't know, metal and reusables. What's so that's like a tire? I don't know. Like a bicycle. Ooh. Ooh. Beep, beep, beep. Sounds more like a, an ambulance. I don't know. An ambulance, like, yeah. Oh. Wow, wow. <laughs> I feel so short sitting on this back little seat. <laughs> Ooh, so here we are driving around Georgetown, Penang in our little. What are we going to call it? Black Forest. <laughs> That's what we shall name it. And this is a little bit of what Georgetown actually looks like. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're not funny. Okay, they looked at me as if I was a criminal. So the street art here in Georgetown is a relatively new concept. So it was only started in 2012 by the Penang government. And the idea around it was to actually bring more tourists to this historical site and kind of make the streets like an open air art gallery so they hired a person to do a set of murals like several murals around here and they named it the mirror of georgetown so basically hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> so basically these murals depict the everyday life within the city here and also give a sneak peek into the past. Yeah, you can already see some of the street art. Look at this, there's like a guy in a gas mask holding a balloon, a dog barking. Stop, stop, stop. I'm going to, I'm parking, I'm parking. <laughs> there we go. But you can see here, this is one of the original artworks with a guy on a motorbike. And it's pretty cool that they've actually used an actual motorbike to be part of the art piece. And right next to it, is a boy holding a dinosaur but you can kind of see that it's weathered away over time but even though it has weathered away you can see that are busy making newer ones like over here it's more in a graffiti style but i mean it's so cool it brings an amazing vibrance to the city yeah we have some more and i mean this is kind of like a warehouse area i feel it's like one of the back roads it's called little india this is what this area is called little india I think their project definitely worked because I mean it's brought so many tourists 
into this area. I mean, we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for that. Baby, why are you walking? Our scooter's that side. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ride this time and see what it's like? Um, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm scared I'll make us fall though. No, you'll be fine. Just keep your feet on these pedals here. I'm going to put my feet on so that you can balance and you can accelerate. Which is the acceleration? This yeah, one? that one, like a motorbike, like Am a Am I going to get like monkey throttle? Oh, sheesh. No, you'll be fine. Okay, go. <laughs> there we're doing it. Ooh, I don't like this. Just go faster. The faster you go, the less you have to balance. There we go. Oh, no, no. I don't Just carry like on this. going, carry on going, carry on going. Just the more acceleration you have, the less you have to balance. I don't feel comfortable though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. We're probably going to get grazed by falling off of this thing because I'm not the best driver. <laughs> You'll be fine. But look how small I am. The CTA is so small. <laughs> yeah, just go forward. Okay. Let's go find some more street art. Yeah, let's find some more street art. This is basically my view. <laughs> oh, here's more street art. Oh, here's some more street art. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh. stand brakes, stand brakes. Jeez, how are you trying to stop with your feet? So I'm feeling like it's a bicycle. No, no, don't do that. Use the brakes. Okay, turn in there. Let's go check that art out. I'm not going to go between there. <laughs> Are you crazy? There. There we go. That was my turn done and dusted. <laughs> I'd rather be a passenger. Yeah, you can see some of the art. This is really, really cool. Again, made out of steel. He's actually telling us about Nasi Kandar, a food that we want to try. So it says Nasi Kandar originated from the Tamil Muslim hawking home, cooking curry dishes and rice from containers hung on both ends and a kandar, a wooden stick. So I don't know if this is like a kandar, I don't exactly know, but apparently this is our Nasi Kandar that's coming to Georgetown. So the art isn't just simply beautiful, it's just teaching you things and super interactive like you've seen so far. Okay, I'm the passenger again. <laughs> How did it feel for you being the passenger? Um, nerve wracking because you had no confidence. <laughs> oh, check oh, out look how cool this is. It's so colorful, I love it. <laughs> and look at this one. How cool is that guy? <laughs> Full the same face. <laughs> I love it. They say a drop of ink makes someone think. And I guess that is what this whole street art is all about. Sheesh, baby, dropping some knowledge, eh? <laughs> it's quite tiring to sit on the back here, I won't lie. No, but I do highly suggest if you want to explore Georgetown, get one of these bad boys, that's pretty cool. Oh, hold on tight, yeah, because the bump. Oh. I think we're actually going the wrong way, and I don't know if we need to follow rules on these bikes. <laughs> oh, let's go down this street. Hello. Hello. I'm good at you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, people are so friendly. So one popular street art that I do want to find is actually the one with the swings. Yeah, I think oh, we found it. I think it. it's down here. There we go. Where? Oh, this is another popular one that I've seen online. But this is the one that I've been looking for. Yeah. The kids on the swing. How cool is that? They've literally taken an old playground swing and actually integrated it into the art. You can see though that the kids' faces have kind of like chipped away, but it's really, really cool. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Check the street that we found. How cool is this? This is so cool. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I should be standing this side and helping push this way? Yeah, you can. I don't know what you're pushing. Probably just a door. <laughs> I don't know, but it's really cool. They really are super interactive. I mean, it's just a random street that we found. So we found a street where apparently really good Nasi Kandar is. According to Google, it's called... Yeah, oh, here it is. Restaurant Tajudin. Oh, no, they're closed. Closed. Looks like it. Well, they've blocked off the entrance, so. I think they only open up much later. Yeah, so, so we're gonna have to find another place. Yeah. I don't know, it looks like none of the robots are working. Should we try luck? 
Yeah, let's go quickly. Let's go quickly. Robot's still red, let's just run. <laughs> so we found another place that's got apparently good Nasi Kandar. And it should be around here. Nasi Kandar uh, Beratur. Oh, this place is uh, so closed. Which place? Yeah. Oh, he has another place. Nasi Kandar. Jeez, they're everywhere. So should we just try from here? Yeah, let's try here. Hello. Hi, how Hi, how are you? Hi, You got Nasi Kandar? Yes. Can yes. I get one, please? Okay, no problem. Is this it? No, that's a quick. Nasi Kandar is the rice plus the dishes. Plus the dishes. And what is this thing? Looks like small that's baby chicken. Quail. Uh, quail. Quail. Oh. And yes, some prawns. They're obviously serving quite a bit of stuff. I mean, check this place. There, he's just picked out the rice. Because nasi so actually means this rice. This is the main, main thing for nasi kandar. Is this the main thing, the rice, eh? Rice, okay. And then we have chicken. Okay. Fish. Squid. Squid egg. Honey chicken. Uh, mutton. No spice. So kandar you can have with anything? Okay, you can add anything. I can add anything. Can I have chicken nasi okay. kandar? Huh? That sounds good. I didn't know it actually comes with a whole bunch of different ones. I thought it was only chicken. So he's grabbing us a good piece. Okay. Yeah, that place perfect. Thank okay. you, man. Ah. There he's cutting the chicken up for us. They will be more soft that way, hey? Ah, yeah. So you bang the chicken to yes. make sure it's soft. Yes. <laughs> so, you want any cabbage? We have cabbage here. A cabbage? What cabbage is that? Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just want to try nasi kandar. Yes. Okay. So okay. Right here it comes. <laughs> okay, That's it. I add uh, gravy for you. Yes. Oh, thank please. you, man. Thank please. You. Is this the gravy? Yes. Is we this the gravy that you cook the chicken in? No, no, no. This is, uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five day, five type of gravy. So we have to mix everything. Oh, uh, okay. Then so this is all the gravies mixed yes. together. Uh, that's the nasi kandar. Is that nasi kandar? It's because yes. the gravy is all mixed together. If one gravy, no. That's normal. Wow. And this is an old Muslim yes. uh, food here yes. in Georgetown? Yes. There he's choosing another gravy. So he's actually mixing both of these gravies together. Because of the gravy being mixed. Yes. So if it was no gravy, then it would just be chicken and rice. Yeah, that's uh, normal. Not oh, the nasi kandar. Okay, got it. So it's nasi kandar because all the gravy is mixed. Thank you. That looks like a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That looks delicious. Wow. How much? Uh, yellow money. Uh, there'd be eight, eight, ringgit. Eight, eight ringgit. Eight ringgit. For all this food, eight ringgit. Yes. Sure. Wow. It's a good price. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's so you good want price. Any drinks? Um, yes, can I please get two Coca Cola? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So, a lot of food. I can't believe this is actually one portion. <laughs> Definitely enough to fill Daniel and I. Uh, there will be 14. Thank, Thank you. you. From where? We're from South Africa. South Africa. Oh. Yeah, you know? Far we know, away. We know, but we haven't been there. <laughs> Very far away. Very far away. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Okay, enjoy your food. I'll bring Thank you. water for you. I can get a fork and knife? Yes, there is. Oh, I grab, yeah. Thank you. All right, so I think let's just go choose a spot to sit at. We're basically right next to the road. So it's the oh. perfect place. <laughs> Thank you. To be trying some local food. So this is our nasi kandar. You can see here we have the chicken. And then there's the rice underneath it. Some cabbage on the side. And then there's just all the sauce everywhere. This is going to be amazing. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I don't know, I'm just nervous. But this is a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to grab a piece of chicken with the rice. Oh, I'm really excited to taste this. I'm going to try some cabbage and the rice and the chicken. I don't actually know how you're supposed to eat this, so we'll just mix it all together. Yo, that is good. That is very, very good. Oh wow. Oh, that's so yummy. That chicken's definitely tender, but it's crispy. Mmm. And there's so much flavor. It's so tasty. It's almost like a home, a home cooked meal. 
good piece of chicken, good spices, good flavor. I can't taste the different sauces at all because it's all just like mushed into one and it's super, super delicious. So I think from now on, I'm also gonna be smacking my chicken with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right, let's go explore the wooden houses that are literally built right on the sea line. Hey, sea line? The clan jetties. The of clan jetties. Yeah. <laughs> You can actually see some of the artwork even here on these houses but the jetty that we've come to is the Chow Jetty. So you can see this is kind of the layout. We're going to go through the entrance over here and then these little jetties actually have little homes on them. You think he stays here? Probably. He's bringing his bike on the jetty. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so you can actually see over here that this is where the jetty starts and the land stops. So now we are officially on the Chu Jetty, which is one of the popular jetties here in the clan jetties. Yeah, and you can actually see in front of us, like you can see all the shops and the houses a little bit that are on the side of this jetty. So this Chu Jetty, or even the entire jetties that are around here, go back to the 19th century when the Chinese hawker immigrants came here to Penang in order to seek job opportunities. And at first, way back in the day, these jetties were used to actually unload and offload goods onto merchant ships. But then later, as the population increased, the immigrants actually started to build their houses on these jetties. So some of these places are shops, like the one behind me. But there are actually a lot of places here that are still homes. There's like a chair and a bike, and that's how we saw a bike come on here earlier. But I mean, here's some souvenir shops, and I think right behind, the people are still busy staying. And here, you can see there's some water, and as well as the wooden planks that have been put into the soil, and then they lay like a deck, and then they build on top, because all the houses are wooden. It's really, really so, so cool, and so unique. This is actually one of the most popular jetties here and most tourist friendly. But there are actually seven jetties that are left in this area. But in its day, there were actually 20 jetties and each jetty was named after like a family. So the family that owned this one or who first started to settle on this one obviously had the surname Chu. And then family members and then people from the areas that they were in could actually identify the families and which basically jetty they wanted to come and stay at when they immigrated here. Oh. So this is one and then that one over there, I'm not too sure of that jetty's name, but that's an entirely different jetty. So the people who lived on that jetty compared to this jetty actually weren't from the same area. Here on this side, on the right hand side, you can see more jetties. There's some people there on the jetty and then there's other ones down there. So it's only this area that you actually find all these wooden Chinese houses right on the water. It is literally so, so cool. I've never experienced something like that. So that's what's nice about always traveling to different places. You get to see all these unique things around yeah. the world. But Georgetown was really, really cool. Right after this, we're gonna head towards Thailand and we're gonna take a train doing so. It's probably gonna be the longest train we've ever taken and a true sleep train, as I think it's <laughs> gonna take us about 30 hours to do that journey, yeah, right? Yeah, we've been on trains before, but never ever actually had a proper overnight train, so this is gonna be one hell of a journey. Yeah, and we're trying to see if we can get to Vietnam without taking a single flight. So make sure you're following us on that adventure. Yeah, and then we'll see you guys in the next video and see you in Thailand. Like, subscribe, and peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> How fast do you think we can go? No, not that fast. How fast do you think we can go? Our Ooh. point is to actually be looking for street art around here. Yeah. You can see how popular they are because tourists queue just to take photos with them. <laughs> take a photo of me? We'll take a photo of you when everyone's done. Pull the same face. <laughs>